Our team recently had the chance to host a hum meeting on Friday. I'd like to tell you a little bit about it and show some clips of that. To show you more, I'm going to send it to Jude, our building. I want you to meet a great new star. Team 6709 Sputnik. I was at the hub meeting on Friday and it was amazing. I would like to thank Principal, Principal Dockendorf and all the school board and allowing us to use it. Um, the hub is just a collaboration of a bunch of local teams coming together so we can all achieve a common goal. I would like to thank all the teams that came. It was a blast and we would like to host again. Thank you, Mr. Dr. Dorf, for allowing us to use this wonderful exploration room. Thank you, school board, for allowing us to have this room. We very much appreciate it. All right, Asher's got some old man wisdom to teach you guys about what happened at the hub last night. the programming lead. Hmm, bubblegum. getting to come see it. I've, I've heard a lot of talk about, like we had members here last Saturday and they were saying, man, the Big Lakes place is incredible. Um, walking in, it was, we kind of gasped and we're like, you gotta be kidding me. Especially when the garage doors started to come up and seeing your guys' creator space, was it called? Or exploration. Lab. Exploration Lab, like, it's just awesome. And going to CSU and all these other places, you're seeing all the, cre the creative spaces and it's almost the exact same. It's really impressive, which has really been it's really incredible seeing what you guys are managing to do here. This is not somewhere that you would expect to see at a high school. It's, it's been really cool, especially seeing all the TVs, the internet ports, the, just the dimmer switches on all the lights. Something you don't always see here. Hi, I'm Paige Erickson from 6045 Saber Robotics. And I think that this is a really cool space. Uh, it's very versatile for a lot of different STEM usages. It works really well for hosting large groups of people that can then like break out into smaller groups and have a lot more in-depth personal conversations. To what new horizons can we look now? Where are tomorrow's opportunities? Frontiers of the future are not on any map. But now, what's ahead of us? 